Hello and welcome to today's BFC Green Talks. Today we are lucky to have three enthusiastic speakers from Moldova. Evelina Dubchak, Mikhaela Unguriano and Sergio Jakub. Our colleagues from CMU will share their impressions from attending the Eurasian Business Conference that took place on 1st April in Chisinau. I'm looking forward to hearing how they have enjoyed this international event and what they have learned. Thank you very much, Marina. Uh, dear colleagues, thank you for taking time to attend this BC Green Talk. On April 1st, Michaela, Sergio and I attended the Euro-Asian Business Conference, which was the first event of its kind and organized in the Republic of Moldova, which united speakers, business people, students, and professors, and people with social initiatives from Euro-Asia. It was a one-day conference with a talk show, two workshops, and a professional networking environment. The purpose of attending this event was to develop our networking abilities and to gain knowledge in the field of leadership with values. The speakers were well-known businessmen from Switzerland, Kazakhstan, Romania, Moldova, and other countries. Throughout the whole day, we discovered the best practices in the field of business development and would like to share with you now several examples of a fascinating companies where management was based on highly praised values. Let me share with you the stories that impressed me the most. The first company that I want to talk about is named Victorinox. Most of you probably at least once heard or saw the symbols of the Victorinox knives. In 1884, Karl Elsner opened the Cutler's Workshop in Switzerland. His mother, Victoria, actively supported him. That's why Karl chooses her first name, Victoria, as the brand name and registered the emblem with the cross and shield as a tra trademark. Inox is the international term for stainless steel. The combination of the two words, Victoria and Inox, gives the name of the company and brand today, Victorinox, with a registered trademark in over 120 countries. In 1891, Karl Elsner first establishes the Association of Swiss Master Cutlers. As a result, he is able to deliver the first major supply of soldier knives to the Swiss army. Up to 2008, Victorina supplied over 50,000 knives to the military of Switzerland each year. From then on, his spirit of solidarity, deep roots in the region, and strong commitment to solidarity shaped the Victorinox company philosophy. The most important values for Victorinox are quality and social responsibility. Victorinox guarantees that its product meets the highest standards in all areas of quality, is, and their area of quality is never compromised, no matter where the production site is. The majority of Victorinox products, such as Swiss Army knives, household and professional knives, watches and fragrances, are manufactured in Switzerland. It is at this level of quality that has allowed Victorina to become a leader in Switzerland and the rest of the world. And the next value that this company um, follows is social responsibility. Victorina AG is an independent family company and 90% of its shares are held by the foundation. The company's continued existence is therefore assured by the 90% of generated profit, and this is available to the company as its reserves. This is valuable decision that helped the company throughout the years to not hire, fire anyone, but to pay uh, employees' salaries during the crisis time. The remaining 10% of shares are held by the non-for-profit foundation that supports charitable projects. Victorin is now managed by the fourth generation of the Elsner family, and the company recently celebrated its 130th birth anniversary. The next company that impressed me was from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan um, has a leading company in sales of electronics and um, other equipment. 
The mission of this company is uh, to always be available for its clients, anticipating their expectations and providing a first-class service. Motto of this company is we do everything with love. The company was founded in 2002 in Almaty. It is um, one of the leading retailers for uh, home appliances and electronics. At the moment, they have 64 stores in 26 cities of Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. Um, they have over 5,000 employees working for them. In the, in the center image, you can see the CEO of the company working directly with the clients in one of the stores. In 2013, the company's goal was to become a leader in Kazakhstan in terms of quality of service. And how did they do this? They do this through the strategic session with the company's manager held by uh, John Shaw in Kazakhstan. This is a famous speaker and servant strategist, and he's the president of the Service Quality Institute. Then the program that he presented was adapted to Kazakhstan market through the transformation of management conscious. They started to attract more sales. And one of the transformations that, that happened was that their, all their management board, all their senior managers, uh, were offered the possibility to spend one day at any of the stores and directly interact with the clients. This helped them improve their services, and also they provided training for their employees directly in the store. This approach resulted in the volume of sales in 2016 by 22%. This company chose um, customer at their most important value and succeeded in it by becoming the leading national chain of stores for the electronic and computer equipment in Kazakhstan. I'm going to talk about the company that most impressed me from the conference, and this is Tukano. Tukano is a coffee shop established first in Moldova and opened here since November 2011. On the first picture, you can see in the white shirt its founder and CEO, Ruslan Kojokaru. Uh, they have uh, discussed during the conference about their several values, but I will just focus on one, which is called by them the wow value. By this, they mean uh, their initiative of being always creative and think outside the box. Also, their motto is uh, making glass but wow, which means that they focus, they, they build their, their action plan in small steps, and uh, this allows them to be quite flexible in their decision, and they do a lot of tests on the customers, so they can drop right away what they see that is not going well for, for the business. Uh, their logo with Love Season Coffee is actually also their philosophy. It is inspired by an era of birth of rock and roll and hippie subculture dedicated to people craving to return to the purity of nature through love, pacifism, and free thinking. Um, the green sign would stand for their achievements. They have managed in only six years to conquer three countries. That would be Moldova, Romania, and United Arab Emirates. So they have four, four coffee shops here in Kishinev. They have six of them in the biggest cities in Romania and two in uh, UAE. Also, um, another of their achievements is that their uh, CEO founder, Rosan Kojokaro, he is a well-known speaker here in Kishinev. He participates in many business events and conferences, and also last year he was a speaker at uh, TEDx Kishinev. Uh, the red sign would stand for their target. During the conference, uh, Mr. Kodokaro told about their boldness and putting really high targets for themselves. So by 2020, they want to achieve a number of 300 stores, coffee shops, uh, and conquer new countries, and also they have the target of making each store a creative coffee space. Uh, how to come in special? To answer this question, I will be talking from my own perception about their coffee shops. So first of all, they ensure growth for their employees from beneath the company. One starts at the beginning uh, at the lowest level and he gets them promoted. This is how they ensure that all staff know all processes from their own experiences and um, growing on the ladder of the company. 
Secondly, currently they have a program, well, all employees need to know English by January of 2018, and this is part of their strategy of becoming uh, more international. They have monthly tests for their employees and a scoring board in each coffee shop where they test, place the, um, the points got of this test. So it's like also a competition between the staff members. Uh, they're also very client-oriented. Uh, recently, they have opened a website dedicated to customer feedback, where each customer uh, can access the page, and in return for giving their feedback, they get a 10% discount for the purchases in the coffee shop. Uh, also, this is quite unique for Kishinev. They offer space for free for different events. Obviously, the one that they are liking the concept and the idea. Uh, however, there is one com comment from my side. Their coffee uh, would be a bit more expensive than the usual places in Kishinev, but uh, they compensate very well through their unique atmosphere that they uh, offer in their coffee shops. To begin with, um, I would like to share with you a quote. Never give up on your dream because you never know what the Lord can bless you with. This quote strongly relates to the story shared by uh, Nelo Balan. You can find him on the left side of the presentation. A Romanian entrepreneur that marked us with his ambition, devotion for our own dreams, will, and strong belief in God and personal strength. During the Ration Business Conference, Nelo shared with the audience his entrepreneurial experience. His journey in the business world began when he was working in, uh, at a mill in his hometown. He was a great employee, and one thing to be noticed is that Nello was aware of his value that he was bringing to the mill, so he decided that the salary is not enough for him anymore, and he wanted to become a partner of the mill. His proposal got denied, and Nello decided to quit his job at the mill. The actual business experience started during a trip uh, to a bazaar in Hungary. Back in those days, entrepreneurs were making money by simply reselling products at higher prices. So uh, Nello decided to do the same. He bought a couple of balloons and started selling them with a small margin. One thing to be noted here is that he was never intimidated by his friends that were making fun of him and his business idea. He managed to raise a good um, sum of money and shift it towards a more well-organized business. That's when he opened the store um, where he was selling and installing heating systems. In no time, he managed to get loyal customers and his business was running well. He was happy with what he was doing considering that it was very profitable um, and his business was outperforming other local stores with electric appliances. He took a couple of loans and he wanted to enlarge his business. Uh, but as many of us already know, life has its ups and downs and the economic crisis in 2008 struck Nello and forced him into bankruptcy. He lost his store, and due to the inability to repay bank loans, he was about to lose his house as well. One thing that amazed me was the struggle that he had inside of him due to the fact that his child once asked him if the bank will take back his toys as well. Uh, Nello didn't give up. His strong belief in God and own forces brought the success back into his life. He won a grant to work in the metal processing niche. Um, he, bet, he bought with those money one piece of machinery and started offering services such as laser cutting of steel, stainless steel and aluminium parts and welds in steel and stainless steel. Nowadays he owns a well-established company with about 80 employees and two pieces of machinery. And uh, this story gives a clear example about how management can promote uh, the work hard-working addicts, and also the idea that anything is possible in this world. Nelo Balan is a strong example of a person living in the world where heroes are being alive, where heroes are real. To sum up, uh, Nelo is a good example to be followed, and um, life is always like a box of chocolate. You never know which one you can get. So what are the outcomes of our participation at this event? First, we learned how to um, use practical instruments uh, for administering and leading business. Also, we learned how to combine these principles and values in our day-to-day -day operations. We got a chance to interact with people from different cultures, not only from Moldova. And we also discovered different approaches by examples that were shared from these companies of uh, different approach to management and leadership that led to success. 
So how we can correlate all of this to BFC? The four stories that we shared with you have something unique about themselves, but something that also we have here at BFC. So about Victorinas, what was their main value that they uh, followed is the quality. Here at BFC, quality is also the greatest value for us. We always uh, we would rather spend more time working and improving things rather than doing things quickly. Technodome, we do everything with love, and Technodome for for them customer is their priority. Customer is number one, and here at BFC we also follow this value. For us, as we say at ADB, client is the king. And we always try to uh, bring something innovative, something new to the point, something that will be helpful. Tucana Coffee, what is um, what they offer? Tucana, they offer possibility for growth. Here at BFC, we have a lot of possibilities for growth. I can say um, specifically about PMU, how in PMU, each person starts as a project assistant. And then there are possibilities to grow to officer, manager, because this gives opportunity to people to learn um, the whole process, to learn everything from the beginning, the whole cycle, and then know all the steps. And Mega Titan is also another great example uh, that Sergio shared of hard work, dedication, and loyalty that leads to wonderful results. And of course, we can see this in all of our colleagues, BC, around the world. Um, dedication, loyalty, and uh, hard work that is bringing success to the company. Main idea about this event was to learn about business, to learn international examples, to get to meet people, people from other countries, and also to learn, like, to also identify ourselves for ourselves, like what are the clear um, and great values that we have here um, at BFC. Thank you all for your time. Um, now we can open for any questions if you have anything you want to ask us. This was just our experience at one of the events that um, the three of us participated and we wanted to share uh, something that strikes for us that uh, can also be applicable here at BC. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, uh, uh, guys. Uh, it was very interesting and informative. And I would like to be the first one to ask you a question. Uh, it's quite easy one. Uh, please share with us uh, how you learned about this event. Where did you find the information about this event? Um, thank you, Marina. Um, I can respond to that. Uh, last year, um, there is this company called Swiss Create. It's a Swiss consulting company, and the founder of the company, Mario Blumen, um, they do um, annual um, trainings here in Moldova, in Chisinau, for anyone interested. Um, two years ago, Eugene Burka and myself, we attended their training on project management, and uh, last year I attended their training on uh, leadership. So when I got the invitation, um, I shared it with colleagues, and Michaela and Sergio got interested. Uh, Mario Bruman, the CEO of this company, he is famous for a book that he wrote. It's called Ten Commandments for Entrepreneurs. Um, this is a very famous practical book for um, anyone who wants to start business. And um, this book is uh, really popular in Moldova, in Romania, and also now they expanded to Vietnam. And they uh, started operations in Vietnam, uh, helping um, people who are interested in open, opening their own business. Um, so this is how we found out about the event. This is the first event um, that they conducted in Moldova, and so we were excited to, to attend it. Okay, thank you very much, Verena. That was very interesting. And uh, does anyone else have a question to our speakers? We still yes, have I have. Okay, welcome, uh, Julia. Yes, hello. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for your great presentation. It was very interesting. And um, I would like to ask each of you if you ever had a dream to to create your own uh, company, for example, um, what sphere it could be? Or maybe you have uh, certain ideas already, and maybe sometimes you will create. But uh, now I wonder if if you ever think about it and in what sphere it can be. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Julia. Yes, um, this is a very um, interesting question. Um, probably we didn't think that far after attending this <laughs> event if we can maybe c c create something. But maybe I you thought about it earlier, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, comments? Anything? Any ideas? Anything? Uh. I don't. I don't think that it's a matter of ideas. It's a matter of how dedicated are you to that idea. So anything is possible, as we learned from Neil Balan. He started with balloons and ended up with a business that has a revenue of five to six, seven million euros yearly. So each one of us can do anything that comes up to his mind. Yes, but for example, you, Sergio, uh, in what year you um, want to open? Well, when I was uh, younger, I had this dream of opening um, a school that would teach small kids uh, basics of uh, microeconomics, macroeconomics, law, and stuff like that. But uh, I guess I'm not devoted, that devoted to this particular dream. <laughs> Thank you. And when I was younger, when I was younger, I. Um, when I was in university, I used to translate for different teams, and uh, one of the volunteer works we did was mobile clinic. So um, I still have that thought somewhere in mind, like especially taking into account our um, health uh, system here at Moldova. I think uh, such mobile clinics bring a lot of uh, good for people in remote areas who, who don't have access to this. But uh, yeah, as Sergio also said, uh, like this idea, I still have it in mind, but um, didn't dedicate a lot of time or thought for that. But maybe one day, who knows? Yes, maybe, of course. Never stop dreaming. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, uh, this is a topic. I never uh, thought of myself as an entrepreneur. <laughs> never identified with this thought. But if thinking now, I understand that I sort of always been attracted to the social stuff, like being in different NGOs. And who knows, maybe this can be a business someday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your thoughts. Thank you. And I also agree with you, a very nice question. And actually, we thought about like to make a platform of wishes, yes? <laughs> like, uh, if, because I think it's amazing. If I, if I can't, you have wish or your parents wish what you will be, just to collect it. And maybe it could be really some opportunity to realize this or just to play this role or just a little bit in frame of project. I believe this could be really very interesting basically. Maybe we will manage, Marina. Yes, we spoke about it. Maybe we will manage. But I wanted to comment also, Evelina, to your presentation, like uh, small comments, to the Victorinks. Yes, because it's, it's really like you see, it's every day in Switzerland that's so strong marked. And I would also, I was so excited to learn here that they actually a huge company and really very, very famous company. And even what we, but every year it's coming something crazy idea from them. Yes, like to the public, like to normal people, and uh, one of them I like it especially, we say like everybody of you can build your own knife, yes, and they uh, they provide like workshop in mm -hmm. Switzerland, you can uh, like maybe wait half a year to, to get a place, <laughs> but yeah. this, or you can also on birthday of your children, you can like book the, the trainer and came to a special like labor where you have uh, all possible pieces of his knife and then you can decide what's your favorite knife and you can like make your own knife with very materials on workshop and after that you can get like your name on this knife. It's like again like the idea about producer, just not uh, that you are able to buy as a quality piece or just it's, it's, it's real, they have so many knives and uh, some, some of them are really so special and so on. But even you can decide like to be producer, do it for yourself, decide and like design also to choose the color, to choose like all possible, like to feel you as a producer, like as an engineer of a knife. And this I found especially very, very emotional and really amazing from this company that they spend time for simple education to simple people, kids or adults, and just to make it fun. 
Yes, we can. Oh, it's like, can you imagine like uh, like car or, or airplane and say, you can build your own airplane, yes? And what way, maybe it will come someday, yes? But in this situation, that we try to bring people to be producer, to mm-hmm. make, to learn it, to make it, and keep it with yourself, yes? This is, I really, we, ex- we extremely like, uh, so love this company, this brand, and uh, they they really we, we can learn a lot from them from their like simple activities they could be like public and newspapers and so like something creative initiatives they are not owning money but we are, we are receiving like good reputation and maybe uh, like to finish also my my like comment um, we also you know we we BC Green Talk also if you see on the picture you see like two symbols yes like one is it BC yes you see on the screen and another one BC Green and they are together yes and uh, today we also spoke with Michael and today it was was a very interesting idea. He was saying, what, what, how we manage to each other? What's like, it's very strange. What's BC Green? What's like BC Talks? It's very strange, something like out of a box. And then he said, like, you know, BC, we have always said, what's doing BC? BC is doing uh, like technology so and so for healthy banks, yes, for companies to be healthy as a business. And BC Green, it's maybe the technology so ideas for healthy bankers, like for people yes, who are working at the banks. And uh, I love it so much. And uh, actually, it's really BC Green. It's uh, more for healthy lifestyle and something how to be healthy in hard working. As uh, you see also with this company, entrepreneurs. And BC is more for companies, but even something jokes or something like this is interpretation. I think uh, it also came to our, during our talk, so if we are communication, sharing this experience. And especially, I would say, Evelina, it's great that you visit this conference, great that you shared with us your experience and also your, like, emotions, yes. And I think it's the best learning for everybody at BC if we go to some Net, networking places or something like events like this, even and just communicate with people, learn from other businesses. What, what we are trying, me and Michael, doing like every week, like we are always trying to pick up the knowledge from others. And this is for me, it's like non stop learning, yes. And I believe this all companies what you have presented extremely inspiring for us, yes. I was really happy to be today with you and thank you so much for sharing and I hope that if somebody else will go like uh, some people I believe uh, who is with us, Ognin yes, used to be on FinTech uh, last year or some of people who is with us, Helena Frank went to some conference, Just it will be like a good tradition to BC if the people will share also their experience so because it's amazing, amazing feeling at the conferences, just we will keep this tradition BC just to share and uh, it, it was fantastic presentation. Thank you to you all three. It was really top. You yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Marina. We also were very inspired when we came back and uh, tried to implement what uh, we heard uh, in our day-to-day operations. So thank you. Thank you for your comments. Yeah, thanks, everyone. We are running a bit out of time. Uh, if uh, any one of you still have a question to our PMU team, please feel free to contact them uh, via Skype. Um, it was a very nice presentation and a productive conversation. So big thanks to our presenters and to every participant. Uh, just to let you know that we are always open to new ideas and new talks. And if you have a topic you would like to discuss, an experience you would like to share or any interesting information you would like to deliver, please feel free to approach uh, Marina Kortenbusch or me, Marina Zabugina, via email or via Skype and we will organize another nice BFC Green Talks. And stay tuned and till the next BFC Green Talks. Meanwhile, check out the iShare Facebook group and the BFC Green website. And please have a nice evening and goodbye. Thank you, Marina, and thank you everyone for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.